Howdy folks and welcome to Brain Rotters. We got some massive new Batman news this morning, so let's break it all down. The new images, the calendar images, and all the news surrounding Batman today. I should warn you that we're going to need to take a close-up look and it's going to get a bit blurry, but we need to see how nitty-gritty it is and Riddler's close-up look to break it down. You know, with this Riddler's drive to expose the truth, it's no wonder that he has this plate-looking thing stitched over the mask of his mouth, almost to say that he won't say anything while the mask is on. Don't believe me? Rewatch the trailer for the Batman movie. Not only does he not make any quips or is really talkative like his comic book counterpart, but he even moves like a mute, silent killer. The same drive can be seen here with the Unmask the Truth painted over the Riddler. We, then we can get one of those Riddler posters saying, my life has been a cruel riddle this to say that he has been living under some false life like we know that he killed gotham's mayor so what if the mayor had something to do with tethering a whole community in gotham to some horrible life just uh, unbelievable corruption and it actually had collateral damage on the riddler on this community preventing any future plans to develop that they may have had or something like that you know it just usually things like these involving politicians or people in power and a villain's backstory involve the politician screwing over a bunch of people our villain being that collateral damage like i said that never received an apology sort of like zemo from marvel hey you made it this far you might as well subscribe if you're new as well as hitting that bell for notifications so you don't miss another video now what's interesting about this poster with batman and riddler on two sides of the word vengeance separating the two you, you remember in the trailer when bruce was talking to riddler over the monitor and bruce asked how he is a part of whatever riddler is planning and riddler said he'll find out soon well maybe in riddler's backstory there is a batman hush scenario that played out you know where thomas elliott or hush is consumed by envy and desires the money the real estate the power that bruce La bruce wayne takes for granted you know what what if Riddler wants what he never had and thinks he deserves it? Maybe he finds out Bruce is Batman and exploits that angle to receive just that power and money that he always thought himself entitled to but never received. Or maybe it's on a whole other flip side of the coin where he wants to make sure Bruce is attacking the right people, the corrupt politicians. You know, just going back to that poster of Unmask the Truth, this could prove the plan to literally unmask Bruce. You know, another poster to enforce this theory that this is one with the light shining predominantly on Batman. You know, this new poster, meaning Riddler is literally shedding light on his identity in this film. Next is the poster with the Batmobile across the Gotham landscape saying, I am the Shadows, which could indicate the involvement of the League of Shadows. You'll remember these folks as the ones to train Bruce Wayne in the first place to become Batman in his quest to become the caped crusader you know however since this is a year two Batman and Matt Reeves director of the film says it's, it's not an origin story this could mean the league's involvement may be restricted to a name drop or a reference or a post credit scene starring Ra's al Ghul or something like that the next one is of Catwoman on the motorcycle in the set photos we have seen with big old Selena Kyle written in the background you know the rest are just simply cool looking posters of Batman thank you all so much for watching I appreciate it. Thank you all for the massive amounts of support we've been getting recently. Take care now. Have a great rest of your day and subscribe if you are new.